everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today we're going to do some work in the, or my portion, of the work in the uh, dollhouse journal that my aunt and I are sending back and forth to each other. So we'll work on that in just a minute, but first I want to show some of the lovely tags that I got for my birthday. I have two. This one's from Jean, so I'll open this one first. I'm just going off camera to get, to cut this because I don't want to... Um, you know, show addresses and all that jazz. So anyways, hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a good day. Just uh, gonna play catch up today. <laughs> After kind of, I mean, I had videos for the week, but I've kind of been busy all week. Hanging out with family and doing fun stuff for my son's graduation. His graduation was yesterday. Um, when you guys see this video, it'll actually be two days out. But um, yeah, it was a great graduation. So he was in the top 10 of his class academically and so he got to speak. So that was really cool to, to see him do because he's never um, done any public speaking before and he did a great job because man, I'd have been a mess <laughs> doing that um, up there in front of all those people. Yeah, and his class was 260 kids. And uh, yeah, they did They did a great job. All the ones that spoke and everything, it was awesome. So this is from Jean. This is awesome. I'm not sure if I've got it. Yeah, it's the right way. Okay, I was like, there's a tab over here, but um, then the tab's here. So this is my 1923 digital download. So that's an oldie but a goodie. I love this um, one. So cute. Hold on, I'm struggling because my hands. Aww. Thank you so much, Jean. That's so sweet. 50 and more, I don't know. <laughs> Another 50 and more. <laughs> I might be real old by then. <laughs> I mean, that'd be great, but wow. All right, so that little flap goes in there, and then she's got a little tag here. So cute. I love the black with it. This is one of the images in it, in that uh, digital kit, 1923. And this pulls out of here. Oh my goodness. That's uh, It Kapili Imaginarium is who makes these art dolls. I have art dolls in my shop too, but the, these ones are from It Kapili Imaginarium. It's kind of a crazy long name, but anyway, she's on Etsy and has art dolls. If you just search art dolls. All the people that have art dolls will pop up. So cute, Jean. Thank you so much. This is just adorable. Turned out great. And she's just got it like tucked in this little pocket here. So she's got two pieces of black paper, you know, glued like that so that this side's a pocket. Then she's got um, this piece is just glued this way. So there's a nice little journaling spot adorable. I love the, love those little tiny um, composition notebook paper holes. Oh, so cute. I had it the wrong way. Presented to Amy by Jean May 2020. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. You're probably like, uh, you do have it wrong, dingling. Uh, yeah, these are so cute. I love art dolls. They're just so fun because you can make them as kooky as you want to and and it's awesome. I love the pearls on there. That's a great idea. So fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jean. I just love, I love art dolls. Aren't they so fun? A lot of people don't like them because they um, feel like they're creepy, which, you know, it's everybody's to each his own. And, but I just think they're real funny. Thank you, my friend. That's awesome. Jean's been with me for a long, long time. <laughs> She's probably one of my early subscribers so thank you so much That's so awesome and I love having that from you because she does um, get a lot of my art dolls and stuff she likes those okay and this one is from uh, Lynn I almost said Linda sorry from Lynn very pretty oh my goodness look at that look at that flower isn't that something very cool. 
And then a tag with the Tim Holtz girls paper dolls and a lovely flower. I love that. That's like all different die cuts. You can tell, you know, stacked to make that flower because it's very dimensional. So cute. And another one with the Tim Holtz paper doll. And this is Tim Holtz too. I've seen those. Those are neat. All um, collage paper there on a book page. Very cool. And then a tag. Does this? Yeah. So cute. Love that flower too. Coffee dyed paper. And so is this tag. This tag's really neat. Look at that design. So fun. Oh my goodness, Lynn. Beautiful. And then this lovely um, pocket for it all to go into. Super cute. And a card. Look how cute that is. A birthday wish. Aw. Oh, don't worry about being late. That's not a big deal at all. I, I, that's why I didn't put like a closing date. I mean, I probably, you know, by the end of June, I decided um, I'd like to, you know, have them all in, but it's no big deal if it's a little bit late. It's totally fine. So thank you guys so much, Jean and, and Lynn. Thank you. Beautiful pieces to put into my next uh, tag. Uh, journal and I haven't done that yet so <laughs> I haven't got the other one done and that one um, from Lynn I may add to the other one because I can still add on to that one so yeah thank you guys that's awesome beautiful beautiful pieces all right so this is the um, paper doll journal if you haven't seen this my aunt uh, makes these um, fabric torn fabric journal covers and that's what I sell in my shop if you go to my Etsy shop you will see um, the torn fabric journal covers and they are not finished when you purchase them because of this type of thing like we're doing with this one you can add stuff to it whatever and then sew it how you want to sew it is the the reason that they're not finished so you'll see when you get one it, it'll be different than this because she's done a lot of um, work already in this one but anyway it'll have like three pieces of fabric going the long way this way and then three pieces going this way and that's how you get the flap that comes over the top like that and so then you can add fabric to it um, you can you know just sew it together the way it is um, you can add paper into it which we've done with this we're adding paper items and what have you so um, let me see I want to make sure you guys can see so like she's done the easel I added the picture she did this picture and she's done all the little paintbrushes and all that and um, this is the art doll that started it I made this art doll for her and so that's that's how we decided she needs a house and um, and then uh, my aunt made the chair there's just all kinds of little bits and pieces in here um, to make up her house so, um, the last time, and I showed this already, but I'm going to show it again because I know there's people that may not have seen it. My aunt added, uh, before she sent it, sorry, this time, she added this little bed. And so it has snaps down here, so you fold down that bottom part and you snap it to make like the footboard area. And it sits like this. It would help if I didn't have all my glue book and everything. It sits up like that. And then, you know, it's like her little bed. And there's the bed frame, the footboard. And then up at the top, oh, you can't see. She's made a wire headboard. So, yeah, it's just adorable. So that's that was the last piece that she did. So this time I think I'm going to do the kitchen and the bathroom and um, so what I'm thinking is maybe the next time I get it back I, I don't know what she has planned so it may not be this way but if she gets it um, all hooked together like all the pages either sewn or she likes to use that uh, what is that called fusible web that type of thing where you um, put it in between the two layers of fabric and iron it and it makes some 
stay together almost like sewing she does that sometimes with her pieces so um yeah either if she gets it sewn together how she wants it and then when I get it back uh, I will I will sew a signature into it sew a signature into it is what I'm trying to say Jeez. um probably here I'm thinking or um, I could do it here but any wherever just depending on how it's uh, put together in the end I will sew a signature of a few papers I'm not going to do a ton of paper because it's already got getting kind of thick but um, yeah so this piece that I'm going to make for it will be a piece that can be sewn into the signature so this could be like uh, the the cover for the signature so um, on one side I'll have the kitchen and on the other side will be the bathroom but then there will be pages sewn in the middle here so that's kind of where we're going with this I think I forgot to grab a couple more pieces of paper which I will need so let me grab those um, most of these papers well actually all these ones here I got out of this Park Lane um, Time Worn Textiles paper pad and I got that I believe at Park Lane is that Joanne or is it I don't know I can never remember all the the names for the different places it's either Joanne's or Hobby Lobby so I think <laughs> I don't think it's Michael's <laughs> see I just I, I just go and I look at paper and if I like it I buy it I don't <laughs> Um, get too technical about all that but I want this piece and I don't know if I have another piece of that that blue right there so I may have to choose something else rather than that but that wouldn't be the end of the world it would just be a little bit of a difference like maybe we'll use this instead yeah it's a really neat paper pad though does it say on the back Oh, it's Joanne. There you go. Joanne is where I got Joanne's fabric and craft. Okay, so what I'm basically going to do is take these pieces of paper and I'm going to cover, um, you know, this, 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 and this <laughs> to, you know, just to, so we don't have the, just the manila file folder. So that's the plan anyways. And I need my cutter. And I need to figure out the size of this. So yeah, it's sort of like maybe wallpaper or paint or whatever. Your your wall design is sort of what I'm doing with these. And you will see why in a minute. So yeah, thank you for all your kind wishes about my son's graduation. It, it went really nice. It was a very nice graduation. So yay. It was awesome. Like I said, all those kids that had to speak and everything, oh my goodness, they did so great. Um, I might as well cut another one, huh? Because I'll need one for the other side. Sorry, I can't see my cutting board. There's a glare. But yeah, it was neat. I may not need. I just realized that that's just cut in half. Durr. Oh my gosh, sometimes. Oh well, it'll be it'll be fine. Oh, it's a little bit smaller. So what did I do? Oh no, it's not. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to ink around these just a little, just a tiny bit on the edge just so that it um, isn't white. So yeah, and then after graduation yesterday, my son um, got to go to it's called Wahoos here. I know they're called something else everywhere. It's like a water park, but it also has, oops, sorry, I just shook the camera, uh, like miniature golf and um, video games and all that whole thing. And um, they take the seniors in a bus and they keep them there overnight. So they have to stay in the facility, but they can play all the games and go-karts and, you know, all of it, all they want. They didn't do the swimming portion of it because <clears throat> that's not open yet in our area but um, they could do all the other activities all night and then they bring them home in the morning and that the purpose of that is hopefully to keep kids from um, 
like partying after graduation and possibly getting in accidents and things. So, um, yeah, so that's what he did. We came home and had some tacos. We did Taco Tuesday again with Aiden's friends <laughs> who came over um, and had tacos. So that was fun. It's always, it's always a good laugh when the all the kids are around hanging out together, you know. They're very entertaining. So, yeah, they they had the Taco Tuesday and and then Theron went to his uh, after party thing all night. So, he had a good time. He's a pretty tired puppy today, but he had fun. And I think that's such a great idea that they do that. So yeah, that was good. Oh, this one's a little bit smaller somehow. I think it's okay though, because I don't know that I want it right. I must have not cut this very evenly. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, I don't want it right in the fold. Do you know what I'm saying? Because that always makes it harder to open and close and I'll either just ink it or maybe we'll put some washi down the center just so that it, uh, isn't just the manila file folder hanging out there. Not that that's an awful thing, but. So yeah, I think this little book's gonna be fun once it's all together. And I thought it would be kind of cool to do the kitchen on one side and the bathroom on the other because then you have the signature in between and it's sort of like they're separated or whatever. I don't know weird goofy things to think about but that's the kind of stuff I do so and this idea like even if you're not doing a quote-unquote dollhouse or whatever you can use a lot of these ideas in your journals um, it, you know it doesn't have to be for a kitchen or whatever you can you can use it in other ways but this is just kind of a fun thing that my aunt and I are doing and you guys seem to like it the last time so I figured I would continue to take you on the ride with us it's a cute idea so definitely if you like art dolls like like Jean you could definitely make your own little house and fill it up with art dolls that would be fun too I'm gonna wait to do the washi until we cover the outside. So I just have to, okay. So on the outside, since it's not like in the kitchen or in the bathroom, I'm gonna have different papers. So for the outside of this one, I want the paper going this way. And I just realized that this is hanging over. So I gotta grab my other scissors, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Just walking on my cutter cause it's right at my feet. Maybe we'll trim this off a little bit. Everybody's out doing yard stuff today because the weather finally warmed up, but then it's just going to cool off again this weekend, of course, because that's what it does. But yeah, it's supposed to be 90 tomorrow. I'm like, what on earth? <laughs> we barely got up to 70 yesterday. It was a beautiful day, though. The sun was shining. It, it was lovely, which is good because we had to stand outside for part of it. It wasn't an outdoor um, like ceremony or anything, but it just, they just did it outdoors. So, oh my gosh, I keep hitting, there's a cord right here for my microphone and I keep hitting the cord and it makes the whole stand shake. So I apologize. I'm going to measure this this way. It is five and a half, just a tiny bit over though. So let's cut that again. I'm going to knock that over a hundred times today. It's almost as bad as that blindfold challenge for me today. I'm going this direction, which is kind of a waste of paper, but um, I like it's like kind of directional. So that's the reason. So I'm going to cut it at eight and a half first so that hopefully I can, you know, keep a little bit of it in fairly decent condition. 
and then five and a half this way. And I can use those for something else. And then the paper on the other side is this one. I'm trying to decide, would it matter if I cut that one that way? I don't think so. I mean, it's kind of directional too, huh? But I don't think it matters if it goes this way, so I'm just going to cut it this way. I try not to bang that around too loudly, but it happens. Okay, so on the side with the kitchen, it's going to be this flowery one. And on this side is the geometric. And I just chose these because they are a pattern and it's fun. It'll make her artistic house fun and bright. We'll do this one at the same time. And then I can just glue them on. I know this is real exciting so far, right? <laughs> I probably should have done this side on my own, but I was lucky to get it halfway organized before I started today, so. Just the way it is. I keep grabbing the new glue stick and I need to use up the old glue stick. I got to order glue sticks again. I didn't think I'd ever have to order glue sticks after I got some in Happy Mail and my sister gave them to me for Christmas. <laughs> I can't believe I've already pretty much gone through all of those glue sticks. Isn't that incredible? It was like, I think I had 12 or something. But yeah, I do use a lot of glue sticks. That's why I said that to my sister when she was like what do you want for gifts I was like glue sticks haha ha. but uh, seriously <laughs> it's a great gift because <laughs> it gets used and um yeah it's just constant basically now oh, let's go to the outside first I was going to the inside and I don't want to do that I want to go to the outside edge here to get it as flat as possible here. Okay. And you can use a card or whatever the tool is you like to flatten with. Oops, sorry. Screechy. Okay. This one doesn't matter that much which direction. We'll get to the good part eventually here. But you could, I mean, you could do a journal, a little uh, manila file folder journal this way too. Super simple, just, um, I cut this at eight half by 11, which is, you know, obviously the size of a sheet of paper, but um, because it's gonna go in the signature or be part of the signature. But for a cover, I would probably cut it um, 9 by 12. And you could cover it just like this, just using a thinner uh, scrapbook paper or a digital or whatever in large pieces like this. And it would be all set to go. You just have to sew some pages into it, and voila, you'd have a journal. So. You don't have to make them super complicated. I mean, we all kind of do, but it's not. Especially if you're just starting and you just want to try it, just do something real, real simple and basic like these. Because, um, you know, like I said the other day, if it did get messed up or it wasn't quite right, um, you can likely fix it. But if you just don't like it, it's a manila file folder and some pieces of paper. So it's not as... I don't know, scary or worrisome as like when you're using vintage pieces, you know what I mean? And you're like, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin these. Because I've been there. I've gotten like 
all the way done with the journal and you get to that end point and you're doing something on the cover or something and it's like, oh, please don't mess this up. So yeah, I'm gonna ink this again because I can see the manila file folder through there. Oh, I got, that's hanging over too now. But yeah, I mean, it's just paper and a manila file folder. And really, there's, I mean, honestly, not a whole lot you can mess up with, you know, doing it like this, just with a, just covering them in a file folder and that. Okay, so I think what I will do is go ahead and do a washi and just go all the way around, basically. So what washi do I want to use? I need something a little bit neutral, I'm thinking. Um, I don't know if any of those will go. That's probably the closest. Because these are designs, you know? Sorry, I'm just looking through all the ones I have up here. This one wouldn't be bad. I'll use that one. That's a Tim Holtz one that I've had for a hundred years. I'm not much of a washi user, honestly. I mean, I use a little here and there, but it's usually for stuff like this. <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of other washi use. <clears throat> so all I'm gonna do is kind of go the size plus and I'll go around and then I'll put another piece. I just don't want it any longer than this to try to get the glue on. You don't have to glue it if you don't want to, but I'm just gonna say that a lot of times washi tape does not stay stuck because it's just kind of meant to be a sort of a temporary tape. I don't really know what its original purpose was, but <clears throat> If you do, feel free to comment about that. And I would love any comments. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be fabulous. It really does help um, a channel's numbers and it helps YouTube put that um, channel out more for more people to view. So it is really helpful. So I really do appreciate it that uh, you guys do that. That's so kind of you awesome if you like what you're watching and want other people to see it that would be great just trying to even up the tape here I know I'm a little off as far as that goes but Okay, and I think I'll just trim this one at the bottom because I don't want to flip it over the other side. Cut my manila file folder a little bit. That wasn't real great because <clears throat> then I cut the tape too. <laughs> Not smart. All right. So now that that part is done, <clears throat> we have our front and our inside. Then what we're gonna do is move those out of the way because I don't need those anymore. These ones we're going to fold in half and glue together. So this is gonna be like for all intents and purposes the inside of my kitchen so i'm going to fold this in half and i will glue it together do i want to trim that a little uh, i think it'll be all right <coughs> And I'm just going to glue these together. Sorry, my throat just made a weird noise. If you heard that, I apologize. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> so 
So those will get glued together and then on the kitchen one, what it will be is this will get glued in here on one side and this will get glued down here. So then when you open it, you have the cute little sort of retro styled um, kitchen. And then on this other side, I couldn't find an, an image much, very big. This this one's kind of small, but it was cute because it was like very retro-y. <laughs> that rust color, wow. But anyway, it's got a restroom. So then this will get attached to the same thing and it'll open like that. It's not as big, but I think it's fun. You get the idea. And then these pieces will be like art pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. That will actually be pockets that will hook to this outside. So I'll probably put like a little thumb notch or something. And then this one will go over on this page like that. Like the art for the kitchen. And then these will fold and go up at the top like little doorknobs. I mean, they're not doorknobs, obviously, because they're not here, but <laughs> you get what I mean. So now we're just going to glue these together. I'm going to get a different glue page. Set this one up here to dry so I can use it for something else. Just cover this whole inside with glue. So, I mean, this wasn't super creative, but hopefully it <clears throat> maybe gives you some idea for, you know, something you're working on. These would be great too for like a granddaughter or whatever to do some cute little paper doll type journals for. Be a great Christmas gift. So if you started now, you'd have a really fun Christmas gift. I used to love, love, love paper dolls. Of course, we had to cut them all out ourselves and everything. But um, yeah, they're one of my favorite things. When I was a little girl. I would have loved a little house book journal, whatever you'd want to call it. And you know, for that, you wouldn't necessarily have to do any writing pages or anything like that. Just make it for fun. I don't know how I ended up with that off on the fold, but I might have to just trim that little edge off, <coughs> which is probably fine anyway, because then it'll definitely not get caught in that um, edge, you know, where the fold is. And always just folds the paper down if it's too thin of a piece. Oh, hopefully that will work. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat today. The pollen here yesterday was awful. My eyes were just, have you ever had that happen where you're not, nothing, like not crying, not anything, but your eyes just incessantly water? My gosh, they were like that yesterday. It was crazy. <clears throat> I'll glue this one while that one dries. Try to get it flat. <laughs> it's looking a little wonky donkey. This one's real um, melty too, here at the end. Our friends that we went to Florida with are coming this weekend for Memorial Day. They have family in this area. <coughs> so that'll be fun to get to see them again before they move to Florida. <laughs> that's, that's why we went down there to um, kind of see what they were planning and doing and whatever, so. And they got a whole house to stay in. Well, it was like, it's like a condo, but you know, it's essentially a house because it's got multiple bedrooms. But anyway, um, for some fa other family members to come and they didn't get to come. So they called us and were like, do you guys want to just buy a plane ticket and come down? It's like, sure. <clears throat> I'll take that, just having to pay for a plane ticket and, you know, food and whatever. But don't have to get the whole place to stay and all that. That's a great deal. I 
one's gonna have to be trimmed just a tiny bit too. I don't know what I did, but oh, I got ink all over there. Good job. Oh well. Maybe we'll make that the side that the kitchen's on so that it's not a problem. I think it did it okay, but let's just check here. That yeah, did. <coughs> make sure we put the glue the kitchen down over that little bit. The only reason I doubled this instead of cutting it in half is one, I wanted the print on both sides and then um, it two, it made it a little bit sturdier card for that to be connected to just so it's not, you know, floppy or anything. So we'll glue the kitchen this way, this way, because <laughs> that side glues that way. Yes. Okay. Don't mess this up now, Amy. <clears throat> Good luck, but yeah. Yeah, this didn't print entirely clear because I had to blow it up. Oh, to um, print it to any decent size, so it's not perfect, but if you had some magazines with you know, this type of thing in them, then I would definitely do it that way. I just didn't, so. I thought I did. I have some old magazines that have kitchen scenes, but they're all just tiny. Isn't it funny how in your brain, you know you've seen that you have that and you just think, oh yeah, I've got big, big enough ones. <laughs> and then you go look at them again and you're like, oh yeah, that's not gonna work. <clears throat> Cause they're so doinky. I thought for sure I did. I'm just going to kind of center this because I'm not sure how else to do it. So to the best of my ability anyway, I'm going to center it. Is that going to be... Oh my gosh. It's not going to work that way, so I'm going to do it this way. It needs more glue though because it that stuff dries so fast. Why is it though? Jeez. <laughs> Seriously. Stop. Okay, let's try this again. This is the edge. I'm just leaving a little space at top and bottom. curled up so it's weird now. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but it's fine. Okay. And then this will get connected to the page and that's how that page is going to be connected. So it's going to go like this. Okay, hopefully I can make this happen. I'm gonna have to open it up again. Cause that's the only way I'm gonna get to the edges. Lay down flat now. <laughs> this ought to be good. Do I have it right side up first? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm. Don't ever put it past me. I have done loads of crazy gluing. Some things I just can't figure out. I'm telling you. No matter how hard I try. Hopefully that's right. It does run into it a little bit, but I think that's probably okay. Like it's a little stiff, but if you had it, I don't know. I think it'll be right. Uh, I don't know. It's going to have to come inside of the 
flap and then it's probably not going to fold the other way, huh? I didn't think about that. See when I close it this way. And is it too? It's way too far that way, so I'm going to have to cut some off. Oh my gosh, I did that totally wrong, you guys. <coughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. So then you just cut a little more off of here. <laughs> I'm telling you how not to do things is what I will show you. Yeah, it's gonna close now. I think it's all right. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay, jeez. No house is square anyway, so you know. Especially old ones. <clears throat> you always think they know how to do that perfectly, but it's not a thing. Okay, now the bathroom side. Let's see if we can manage this a little bit better. Probably not, but we'll try. Okay, so that one's gonna go like that. We need our bathroom. Um, I might ink it just a little bit. It's, I mean, it's an old kind of yellowed piece. It's even ripped down here in the corner, but that's as best I could do without chopping everything off entirely. So maybe what I'll do is glue it on here first, centrally. <sighs> Try it. Hopefully it's no worse than the last deal. Instantly curls up too and smells. That's the only thing sometimes with old books and magazines. I mean, sometimes they don't smell bad. This one does not smell great, <laughs> to be honest. Some of them smell real wild. It's like, what, what happened to them? I mean, I'm sure they got in water or whatever and got mildewy. They just don't smell great. Yep. Yeah, this would be super fun for a little kid, for sure. My daughter would have loved it. Okay. Well, let's get it on there, and then we'll decide if we want to trim that edge, too. Just going to get as best I can, and then I'll take my art glitter glue. Go along the edge a little more. Clean off my art glitter glue. Okay. The robins made a nest out in our front big pine tree. So every time you go out there, they attack. Flapping and squawking at you and everything. It's like, I'm not going to get your babies. I'm just coming out to my yard. <laughs> like, don't worry. I got no use for robin babies. <laughs> they get feisty, though, they do. Oh, you know what? This is even worse. I am such a dork. Because this is going to have to bend in order for that to work. Guys, why didn't you yell at me and tell me? <laughs> you're all like, you're the one that's supposed to know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't, obviously, right? Let's see here. We need to. I'm going to have to fold this a little bit as best I can, anyway. I think I just moved it too. Sorry. Big old truck going by. With a full load, it sounded like. Yeah, I did not think that. Think about that at all. 
So it'll probably go all the way to the corner if you're going to use an image like this small, because otherwise you're not going to make it work. Right, I'm going to tear it in half before I can get this to work. I don't really care about the other paper, but I don't really want to. I just ripped that a little bit. Yeah, I just ripped the whole thing. Okay, so don't do it like this. And I'll glue that down too so that it'll open and close. I don't know how I'm going to fix that magazine because I really don't want to put um, washi on it right down the middle. Okay, so now I have that back edge glued. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. I don't think it's really going to work to, because every time it folds back, it's just going to pop open again. I think one half is glued to one page and the other half is glued to the other page and that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, just going to have to be easy with that. I think I'm just going to let that dry and we'll go over to the other side and do the picture pocket. It's always trial and tribulation when you've never done a project before. Even sometimes when I have done a project, it's still like that. Okay, so the kitchen picture is going to be this one with the fruit and the asparagus and that. And I think I'll just put a, like a thumb notch up at the top, even though obviously a picture is not going to have a thumb notch, but I want it clear that it's a pocket. And it's just a little one. So that'll go there. And we'll do three sides of blue. And I'm just going to kind of go middle. I mean, since it's a pocket, too. And then eventually something can go in there. And we'll put our little tab on the top so we know it opens and closes. And there's still enough room, you know, for our signature to go in there. I'm not going to do a ton of pages for the signature, just a few writing pages. You could do a little tab of fabric or whatever you wanted on these. You don't have to have these whale tails. Fold the paper, whatever you like. Um, I'm going to kind of come down a little ways. Just because I don't want it hanging out so far that it's in the way. So there's that side. I'm scared to mess with this. I think I'm going to flip it over. <laughs> I don't want to close that now or anything. Okay, so this one I'm going to have to like kind of tuck in here, but um, let's see. Yeah. This was a piece of artwork and it originally was oriented this way and then there was more to it, but I figured it's fine if it goes sideways and I'm just going to do a thumb notch over here, just a little one. I don't 
don't even think I did that. Inked the other one, huh? Oh well. It was dark. It was like black around the. Okay. This was a cool piece on the back too. The other one just went better. Oh my gosh, Amy. <laughs> okay. Oops, I moved it because it's so slickery. Who knows how big of a pocket I'll have by the time this is done since I'm moving it all over the place. Okay, so I got our two pockets and then we need our little tab on this side. day we were sitting in our living room and our windows aren't even like I haven't had a chance to wash them and it's just been raining and stuff on and off so I usually wait until it kind of calms that down a little bit but anyways we're just sitting there and this dove full force whacks into the the window I thought for sure he was dead but he just laid there and didn't move for a while my husband's like oh no his neck's broken and I'm like I don't know about that because we had that happen to us in Sparks um, our house that's near Reno, Nevada, and um, I went out to pick the dove up, you know, to get rid of it, and um, it freaked out and flew away, like, they get their bell rung, and they just, like, don't move for a long time, so it laid there and laid there, and then finally it was gone, so it got its bearings back or whatever, but my husband said, it's got a huge knot on its head, there's no way that it's alive. <laughs> It's like I bet you money it is. Sure enough, it left. So I don't know if it made it or not, but I have never heard one hit that hard. That was like dong. I mean, the whole window was just like, oh, how he couldn't see it. Because it was even a window that I have a hummingbird feeder, um, like stand thing on it. It's like a sticky thing that sticks to the window and then you hook the hummingbird feeder to it. I had one of those on there even and it still just smacked right into that window. I was like, wow. They don't normally do that because we've put like um, hot air balloon stickers and things like that on our big kitchen window to keep the birds from doing that. And usually if there's something on there, even if it's just like in one corner or something, they don't really hit it. but. He sure didn't see that. And he hit it hard. Trim this down here just a little bit. But I think it's good. This is actually kind of a cool little thing. You could definitely do a little journal in there. And it could flip out like that. Yeah. So then once it's done, there'll be some papers in here. So you won't see these two together because together they're kind of, wow. But um, yeah, there will be papers sewn in the middle. And so those two things will be divided. But I think that's fun. That would be a very wow house, wouldn't it? <laughs> and then this too. <laughs> oh boy. Very eclectic. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we will chat again tomorrow. Please like and subscribe. Um, hit the little bell so you get notifications whenever one of my videos comes up. And yeah, and have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.